All right, today we're gonna to go through a sequence of lower body stretches, and we're gonna do three single leg stretches and then two double leg stretches. And this should be pretty easy for the person giving, and I'll try to cue you through to make it even easier on your body. But we're gonna start by taking the leg that you're next to and take the hand that's closest to the ankle under the ankle and the other hand underneath the knee. I'm just gonna bend their knee and lift it up with you. So you kind of walk close to it and keep the leg close to your body. And you're gonna start making circles and bring the knee as wide as you can. Let it come down a little bit. Twist it across the body. And back to your starting position. So just do that a few times. You're lubricating the hip joint here, so producing synovial fluid in the joint. And we're also just seeing where their range of motion is. So how big of a circle can they make? And you can go in the opposite direction too. You just come up off your heels as you're coming up. You're really keeping your elbows right by your hips and inside of your waist. Let's go one more time this way. And as we bring it out wide, you're gonna let the foot land down onto the mat in tree pose. So basically the inside of their foot is next to their opposite knee. And you're gonna come into a warrior stance. So you're on one knee, the other knee is right next to their knee. Take your hand on the knee, gently push down, and one hand on the hip and gently push down. Just hold them in the stretch for a second. You're gonna take the hand that's on the hip and move it over to next to the other hand. So here we're just rocking, pouring the weight down, taking the hand on the quadriceps, so the muscle that's on the top of the thigh, and pushing down and towards the mat. And just use your body weight, rocking down, and come back. Up here, right at the hip and groin is where a lot of tension is carried, so you can spend a little bit more time here rocking into this hip. And just start working your way back down towards the knee. Try to keep your back flat and your arms straight the whole time. You can come for one more stretch. Take the hand on the hip. Just push the hip down first and then gently push the knee down. And for the second one, we're just bringing the knee up to the center. Put your knees on each side of their ankle so they can be relaxed but their leg isn't gonna get out from under you. Sit down on your heels and you can have find what's comfortable for you. You can tuck your toes under you and sit on your heels or you can let the toes be flat onto the mat. So from here you're interlacing your hands and you're going to take the thigh and just lift it, squeeze it, the palms together and then pull towards you. So this will get a little traction in the hip again. It's a good way to release the tension from the quadriceps. And just work your way all the way from the knee to the hip. And then back from the hip to the knee. And then when you get to the end, just pull the knee towards you, lean back a little. Give you another traction. Take the hands underneath the calf, and you're just gonna pull the calf apart, pulling towards you. So as I come in, I lean in towards her knee, and then I lean back away, pulling the calf apart. So I put my fingers kind of right in the middle of the calf, and just start pulling from side to side. 
you're working your way from the top of the calf down towards the Achilles tendon and the heel. And then work your way back up. So I'm considering this the second stretch in the series, just the little bit of pulling the calf and squeezing the quads. It's not quite a stretch, but you are still getting traction and you're reducing the tension in the leg. So from here, we're gonna push the knee up towards them and you're gonna take them into a twist. So just step your leg over the body and then start to twist them over. You can make sure you find the floor with their foot first, then take your hand on the shoulder and then you can push them down into the twist. So you wanna keep the shoulder pin down here and just let the knee come as far as you can. And then you release the shoulder. And we're gonna work right along this outside line. So think about the, it's really the IT band, but think about the middle of the knee all the way to the hip. And that's where we're taking our hand and compressing. So you may wanna be up here in a warrior position again and use your hand, just pushing towards the floor. And you can go all the way into the glutes. Right here on the side of the hip is where the piriformis attaches, and that attaches from the hip bone to the tailbone and carries a lot of tension. So you can spend a little time here just pushing in, work your way up into the lower back. and then start to work your way back down. And sometimes I'll just hold the leg over with this hand and start using my other hand to work. You can just see what feels good in your body too. Good, and then after that, you can do one more stretch by pushing down on the shoulder and then pushing down on the knee. And those are the three single leg stretches we're doing. So you'll just take the leg back out and give it a little, you can go in circular movements, you can rock it side to side, just give it a little pull, let it completely relax. I don't know about you, but She's got one leg about an inch longer than the other, so we got to do the other leg. So let's just run through that again. Take one hand under the ankle, one hand under the knee, and bend the leg up. Just move your body closer to theirs. And start to go helicopter, moving the leg in a big circle. Try to make sure you're keeping your back flat, not rounding the shoulders. And then take it in the opposite direction. Just see if you feel anywhere it doesn't move as smoothly. back out as wide as it can go and let it land in tree. Let's take one hand on the hip, one hand on the knee, just gently push. And then we'll start compressing the outer thigh. And just rock your weight back and forth, rocking back as you come off. Rocking forward as you pour your weight down into the quadricep. Spend a little bit more time when you get to the top. And slowly start to work your way back down. side of their ankle. 
can sit down on your heels, interlace your hands. You're gonna just squeeze the quadricep together and then pull towards you, lean back. So squeeze and pull. Once you get up towards the hips, start to work your way back down. And just pulling back here, get a little traction. Good. And then reach down behind the calf. So both your fingers reach for the middle of the calf. Just lean back as you pull. Come back in, shift the position of your hands a little lower. Just keep repeating. Once you get down towards the Achilles, basically when your legs become in the way, then you work your way back up. twist. So just push their knee up towards their body. You can come up onto your knees. Just step one foot over and bring the leg over. So pin down their shoulder on the opposite side as you bring their knee over as far as they'll twist. And you can release the hand on the shoulder and just come over here to work on the leg. So again, Try to find that line right down the middle of the leg, and that's where you're going to compress. Use that rocking movement, rock forward into the leg. And yeah, into the hip. You can go as high into the lower back as you want. Just ask your buddy what feels good. And work your way back down. Remembering this area on the hip is a good one to release tension. And you can always leave the left hand here and start using your other hand to work. Take them into the full twist one more time. Take the hand on the shoulder, push down, and then push down on the knee. And then take their leg, push it up towards them. And we're gonna go into the double leg stretches. So the double leg, take both knees and bend them, and place them right on your hips. They're basically right on like, the arch of her feet, or on my hip bones. I'm going to get as close to her body as I can and interlace my fingers around the thighs. So now I have good control of her. So we're just going in circles here. So this is going to massage the lower back. And you're just taking the biggest circles that you can make with your body, trying to keep a flat back. And then you can make the circles bigger and smaller and go in the opposite direction. And just run a big stretch here. And we're gonna go into Rock the Baby. So Rock the Baby, I like to do it on my client's right side. And I step my right leg forward and let their leg come across my leg. So her knees are right against my thighs. And I'm just taking my hand on her ankles and I'm gonna push down and that's gonna lift her butt up. So once you let your butt get really heavy, yeah. And then you're just taking your hand on their hip and you're rocking them like a little baby. So as they're rocking, this is decompressing the lower back and creating more length in the lower vertebra and the sacrum. And you can just stay here as long as you want. 
And just keep rocking them a little side to side. I tend to let my leg start, my leg was right here, and as I'm rocking her, I let my leg get a little bit further away. So now that's creating a shift in her spine and making it get longer. So by the time I'm done, her spine would be in a different place on the floor than it was when we started. You can let the knees come in towards them. You just shift your position, take her ankles on each side of you, and just slowly start to give her a little traction to finish it up. One more nice long pull. And you're all done. Good. So, let me know how that goes. <laughs> How'd that feel? Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Good. All right. Yeah.